thank you Squarespace for sponsoring today's video. Squarespace is the virtual home of my website, portfolio, and online shop. You can present your work with Squarespace professional portfolio designs with beautiful customizable galleries with automatic image scaling to present your artwork in the best way. Connect your art portfolio with your online shop with one click. With Squarespace, all your marketing tools are in one place and thanks to their own point analytics, this platform helps you develop a beautiful online presence and help you optimize the way you run your business. You can also connect with your audience through gated member-only content. Use the code CAROAREVALO to get 10% of your first purchase of a website or domain. It is Monday and today Lila and I are cooking something very delicious. Let me show you what I'm cooking. So I'm making a stew with spinach, beyond sausage, some tomato and basil sauce, eggplants, tomatoes, onion and garlic. And to drink I'm making some hibiscus tea with lemon ginger and aloe vera juice. It is Saturday and today we are going to Tacoma Park Tacoma. to Maryland, Maryland. To, to visit our friends uh, Titi and Javier, my friend, well our friend Cristina, she's the owner of the Zero Waste School that I am enrolled in and the one that I've been sharing all over for the past few years and they are having a housewarming party they are also having a baby in a month so we'll get to see them right before Cristina gives birth and today it's a housewarming party it's a potluck and we are bringing a quinoa chaufa chaufa is this Peruvian typical dish um, that has a how would you call it Divo? stir fry it's like a stir fry rice you pretty much put like white rice, uh, scrambled eggs, and any veggies that you have, soy sauce, and it's delicious. And it comes from the Chinese, Peruvian Chinese cuisine. No? Uh, Cantonese. It comes from the Peruvian Cantonese food, that it's a whole uh, rubro. I, I cannot speak English today. See, it's like a whole food style in Peru, Peruvian Cantonese food. And we made a version instead of rice and quinoa. I said, I say we. I only did the quinoa. Ivo made the actual chaufa. Um, yay! It's demasiado rico. It's like the best. I've been like eating so much before putting it in the plate. And we're also bringing a big jar of blue lotus tea. I won't be drinking and Cristina 
is pregnant so she won't be drinking either so i brought i'm bringing these so we can share a cup of blue lotus I am in the city, I am in Manhattan and I am staying at my friend Mari's house. I am here for one day and a half. I came to see some art galleries and also celebrate the full moon with Mari and we had a little full moon ceremony last night in the park. And today uh, I'm going to see first one gallery. My friend Cassandra has an art show that I really wanted to see before it was over. I couldn't come to the opening, but I am here now. And later with Mari, we are meeting up and we are going to see Jen Stark's immersive art show at the William Val, which is a hotel. After Jen Stark's show, we're gonna go eat some arepas at Caracas. Then we might go to Anima Mundi, which is uh, our favorite apothecary here in the city. And right after that, I'm coming back to Kingston to keep working.
Hi, I'm at Cassandra Mayela Show. Cass and I met when we used to work together at Caracas Arepa Bar, a restaurant in Brooklyn. And I've been super inspired about this work of Cassandra's. Um, she's collected clothes from Venezuelans that moved to New York and it's clothes that they, they came with from Venezuela and she made this tapestry which is an ongoing project putting together all the pieces of a country um, and relocation and I feel this is such an inspiring project I've been wanting to come check it out since the opening and it's so good to be here. Ivo, ¿qué hemos encontrado? Hongos. Hongos. Ay, sin caerse. Fairyland.
A few people were asking me on a vlog's comments about this watercolor palette of some shiny watercolors that I've been using in the past few paintings that I did. And instead of responding, I thought of sharing about them. This is not sponsored. This is a brand that sent me their watercolors. Um, no strings attached, no contracts, no money, no uh, exchange ideas, nothing like that. They were just super kind to send them my way because they had seen that I am on a journey towards making my art practice as sustainable as I can. And the watercolors that I was getting asked about are these, which are this beautiful shiny palette from a Indian brand called Blue Pine Arts. These are handmade watercolors in India and they are made using only natural pigments that can be from stones, from earth itself, from plants, um, some of them from flowers, uh, from spices that we have in the kitchen that also come from plants. So yeah, I actually realized that I had some footage that I filmed when I got these new watercolors and also a few other of their supplies like this beautiful case to carry my pencils and my palettes and paintings. Um, so I'm going to share with you that footage that I recorded when I got them. I believe I got them around April and I've been using them for a while so now I can share with you a review of how I like them and how I've been liking them and not liking them so far um, and yeah let's go to the footage from a few months ago hi it is friday the 30th today i've been filming rituals around creativity in spanish rituales para crear i've been pretty much filming every day for the past week so I know there's not a lot of content of me creating in this vlog because I've been filming all the time for the course in Spanish and today I just finished watching the visualization class that my friend Viv is giving in Rituales para Crear and right now I am about to film the art session that we will be doing based on the visualization from Viv. And I am pretty excited because for this class I will be using some new art supplies that I got gifted. So the first thing that I will be using for the first time today are these beautiful handmade books. They are made by Chanel in Vancouver. And Chanel is a book binder artist. She hand, hand makes these beautiful sketchbooks. And she emailed me to see if I would like to uh, be gifted a pair of her, of her handmade books and I got one with watercolor paper so you pretty much get to choose the cover the color of the background here I got cedar and marigold which I I use marigold in my practice very often and this is some very thick beautiful watercolor paper that I will start using today I've had it for a little while but I'm finally going to start using it and I also got this other one with corn flour, which I haven't used either. This is also a thick paper, but this is more as a journal. And Chanel's um, shop is called the Bitter Melon Bindery. I'm going to link it on this video's description in case you want to check out her work, which I am very fascinated by. And I also got these 
natural handmade pigments. They are all made from plants and they are made in India. And this brand called Blue Pine Arts um, shoot me a message saying if I would be interested in trying some of their handmade and plant-based watercolors. They only use honey and the natural pigment in order to make their watercolors. Some of them were open because they came all the way from India, so Customs was like checking them out. And this one here is ultramarine blue made from butterfly pea, which is a flower also used for tea. Um, so I'm very excited to try this out and I am very pleased and very excited for this gift because not only are the pigments made from plants that are harvested sustainably, but they also come in this beautiful patch, patch um, that are upcycled and they are handmade and hand sewn by women um, in India. And you can learn more about them on their website. I'm also going to link their website here. And I am very excited to try their art supplies um, for the first time. Look at this beautiful pouch for my pencils. This one is also upcycled and hand sewn. I can just tell it's been made with so much love and I, I am very thankful by how the internet can connect us all. And here there are a little bit more of their watercolors. I will keep you posted on how I like them, but I am very excited to try them out. So yeah, I'll show you a bit of how the um, painting for these visualization goes and I'll see you on the other side. So for the shiny glittery watercolors, I've been using them a bunch in the past few months. I love the different colors that I can get with them. I love how, you know, usually I would have my regular watercolors and add the shimmer separately. And uh, this is just giving me, this is helping me not have to do that extra step. And I love how some of them have a silver shimmer, some of them have a gold shimmer, and some of them have a pink shimmer. So it's beautiful to play with them, play around with them. Let's say I have these two turquoise ones. They look pretty similar, but one of them has silver shimmer, the other one has gold shimmer, and that makes a huge difference when painting. And I love how I had never tried this pinkish shimmer, which might be copper, or at least it looks like the copper shimmer that I would usually use before this palette. What I would use is my regular watercolors, whatever the brand is that I'm using. And then I would add dry wash, shimmers from silver, gold, or copper. And that's something that I love about these ones. I also have a few different tones to try for silver and a couple of tones to try for gold. So one of them is more towards the warms. The other one is more towards the cold colors. And that's something very interesting to try. I've been really liking them so far. The one thing that I didn't like about them is that when I am using them on my paintings, sometimes they don't flow as much as I'm used to when I mix my dry wash shimmer with watercolors that is super flowy and super even. This has maybe more medium that I'm used to. I believe that the medium that they use is honey, so maybe the amount of honey being used is a bit too much in comparison to having way less medium as the watercolors that I'm used to. So this is making me realize that whenever I actually paint, it has more of this gooey texture at the moment of painting. And this is one of the paintings that is still in progress, but for the one I use their shimmers for all the glittery parts. And you know, it was beautiful to try them by themselves, like one color by themselves, and also mixing my own color in the palette. 
And also I tried putting layer upon layer of different colors. So that has been pretty fun. Let me show you up close. And the other things that I'm not sure if I showed in the footage from as soon as I got them is I also got these tiny palettes. One of them has six colors, the other one has four, and these are not glittery or shimmery. These are just purely regular watercolors, still handmade in India, still made with natural pigments. This one, these two I haven't tried yet, so I'll report back once I've tried them for a few months and see how I like them. But I am super excited to try especially this one here because here we have turmeric, the black is made with chili pepper, another red is made with another type of chili pepper and some other plants. And um, I just love working with handmade watercolors. And this one too, this is more of a blue palette. And they recently came out with a palette that is only different shades of green. And first I will try these out, see how I like them and if necessary. And if I love them, I might purchase that green one in the future. And I also got these teeny tiny tryouts for other colors that I don't have here which I haven't worked with yet. To be honest, I am a little intimidated because I've never worked with these presentation of watercolors in the past. But yeah, that's about it. I've been using my case for the longest, especially when traveling or when going to paint in nature. And it's perfect for my brushes, watercolor palette and palette ceramic palette to mix colors. I just put everything in here, close it, and then wrap it up. And so far, my art supplies have arrived perfectly. So that's a bit on the question that I got asked on this shimmery palette. Um, I'll circle back when I try it, once I try these and let you know how I did or didn't like them. So yeah. And I just thought, why not also share about the handmade sketchbooks that I also showed you in this footage from months ago. This one here is the one that has um, cedar and marigold, and it has the watercolor paper. And I've been using these to make a bunch of sketches. Some of them are secret because I've been working on a project that I am um, not able to share right now because it's a secret project but some of them I've used for things that I've shared in the past like these hummingbirds and I've been loving these sketchbook I would definitely recommend it and I would definitely buy from Chanel's shop this here is another spread that I can share um, this was actually made using the shimmery watercolors from Blue Pine Arts. Um, I've been loving the sketchbook, the other one, which is more of a journal sketchbook because it has thinner pages, which are still thick and beautiful. I've been loving that one, but to be honest, I've also felt a little intimidated to use it because I feel the pages are so beautiful, so thick that I don't like to just write thoughts. So I've been using it way, I've been using it less often, but being way more present with whatever I'm writing. And it really inspires me to not only write, but also to paint and draw in it because of how precious the outer part looks and how beautiful and thick the inner paper is. And yeah, this is another one that I can share. I love how the colors look here. I actually have used Fabriano and Arches papers in the past for my own work. I still use them for a bunch of my work. 
like these sketchbooks here. So I do love to work on these pages and this is the first time that I get an actual sketchbook with these beautiful and sustainably made papers. So I would definitely recommend these um, sketchbooks as well. Y ahora sí, that's everything I had to share. Today is the beginning of a cacao immersive training to be a guide. The one that I'm joining is starting today and it will be for three months. And in this journey, uh, I'm getting to know in more depth cacao as an ally, as well as how to hold space in the future. And I want to show you all the goodies that came in the mail from Cacao Lab. I'm taking the immersive with Cacao Lab, guided by Florence Friedman. And this is what came in the mail to start the training today. a rattle from Iquitos, where my mom's family is from, some beeswax candles for offerings, all the different cacao bars, all ceremonial cacao. I got this beautiful journal, some copal, Mama Cacao in a squash cup and my small altar. 